gay. Let's cut the crap. This is serious. Nibiru, yes. I just watched the video of the bats that had died falling from trees in the severe heat. And it made me think, you know, Carl, the people in charge, the people who've got the power to change things, they are going to get some serious karma from this. And then it occurred to me they wouldn't actually want that the weather extremes now are getting so bad if it was climate change the people who've got the power to change things they wouldn't get, let it get this far because that karma is then on them and no one escapes karma and they know that so that to me confirms that they are powerless against what's happening now on the planet I mean have you seen the weather <laughs> these severe differences between the cold and the heat it's like a line this big on one side it's bloody minus 15 and on the other side is plus 15 that's a 30 degrees difference and these bats in Australia imagine that hanging in a tree melting You know it's serious. And it's just round the corner. No bullshit. Um, it can't go much further than this. The animals are going to be dying before us, probably. <sighs> Fuck this. I guess eventually what's going to happen is it's, is it's going to dawn on everyone how little time <coughs> we've got left. So whether it's climate change or Nibiru, I mean if it if it is Nibiru, is that makes it better because it's kind of you know why the bats died why have they survived before or maybe they haven't you know maybe it's only the ones in caves that will survive it and the ones in trees can't manage it maybe it's because there's less trees as well So, you know, if it's Nibiru, that would make it kind of okay. So, Nibiru could be a load of bollocks. And it's been very cleverly uh, put, in, put there. So that we um, believe that. Sorry. Okay. And if it was Nibiru, I guess that would be the opening of the eyes of everyone and there would be um, 
communication with other beings, I reckon. We'd all then have to accept that there are aliens and stuff. <laughs> well, that's a bit weird. It would just be bloody amazing, wouldn't it? Probably. <laughs> to see uh, something. I don't know. I mean, we just wait and see for that. But something is definitely happening. It's one or the other. And if it's climate change, and if it's us fucking up the planet, it's just going to happen quicker and quicker. And if it was some plot of bullshit, man, are they going to get some karma. The 1%. I don't know if they watch YouTube. If they did, they'd know that karma. I don't know, they wouldn't let it get it much further than this. Until they do what? What would be their answer? If they haven't got one, I suppose, what's their plan? Ah. So their plan would just be to hide away. While the animals die. And then there's... So we'd only have the 99% of humans left on the surface of the planet by then, I would imagine. And they'd expect us all to kill each other. And ravaging dogs running around everywhere. <clears throat> well, then they are going to have some serious karma on them. Man, they are going to bury in those dungeons. If that's the case. It looks like it could be one of the two, but something is happening now. I don't think we can deny that anymore. The weather is just absolutely out of its crazy mind. And I don't like the animals dying. I don't think anyone does. That's what's happening. It's hurting them first. They are not used to this. It goes to prove that it's not always been like this. Or it's not just some odd year. It's been getting worse and worse. The Green Party would now probably win, wouldn't they? If they hadn't already sold themselves out. Sold out to old Labour came and took over the Green Party, they stopped shouting about green issues and they moved over to, oh yeah, we'll answer everything, do everything perfect. <laughs> it's just not realistic. There's overpopulation. Cities. Cities engulf the land around them they would need for their food and there wouldn't be room for anyone else. In, in this country, it would take the whole country to feed London. Because obviously this country imports a lot of food from around the world. From the colonies. So this country has got a lot to answer for really. is probably the centre of the beast. Anyway, I'm going to end this video now and just tell you it's happening. It's happening now. Good. At last. Thanks. Bye.